Welcome back champions. I hope you all are doing good. Now today we will continue our exercise 3.3. So let's begin. So question number 8 is the following figures G U N S and R U N S are parallelogram. Find X and Y. We are having two figures in this question and we need to find the value of variables X and Y. So let's begin with the first figure. So here is first figure guns. And we need to find the value. So here what property you can use when you will see this figure clearly. This is one side of parallelogram and this is other side. And we know the property of parallelogram that opposite sides of parallelogram are equal and parallel. So we are going to use that property to calculate the value of x and y. So, let's, so using the property opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. I have written Sn is equals to GU and next I have written their values. Now we will transfer this minus 1 to right hand side and you all know that when a number is a negative and we transfer it, it goes with the plus sign. So 26 plus 1. Now 3y is equals to 27. Now this 3 is in multiplication. So when you will transfer it, it will go in division. So y is equals to 27 by 3. So 3 1s are 3 9s are. So value of y is 9 here. Now we need to calculate the value of x. So we will use again the same property. So sg is equals to and you and in bracket will mention that opposite sides of parallelogram are equal 3x is equals to 18 3 is in multiplication with x so will go in division so x is equals to 18 by 3 now 3 ones are 3 3 6 are 18 from here we are getting the value of x is 6 so we got both the values x is equals to 6 and y is equals to 9. Now let's solve its second part. So here is the second parallelogram runs. Now here we are going to use different property because the variables x and y are given on diagonal. So we are going to use property related to diagonals. So now the property diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. This means to ye diagonals hai, ek dusre ko equal half mein cut karti hai. So from here we will get y plus 7 is equals to 20. Now we will transfer this 7. So y is equals to 20 minus 7. So you will get 13. So value of y is 13 here. Now with the same property we are having x plus y is equals to 16. A y key value just now we have calculated that is 13. So we will put it x plus 13 is equals to 16. Now we will transfer this 13. So x is equals to 16 minus 13. So value of x is 3. So value of y is 13 and value of x is 3. I hope this question is clear to you. Now let's solve next question. So our next question is we are having two parallelograms in this question risk and clue and we need to find the value of x. So how we are going to solve it. So I am marking both the parallelograms with different colors. So here is the first parallelogram risk and here is the second parallelogram clue. And we need to find value of this variable x. So first of all we will take parallelogram risk. This is given to us in this parallelogram value of k. So we are going to use that. Well, k is given to us 120 degree. So angle i will also be equal to 120 degree. So what is the property that we are using opposite angles of parallelogram are equal now let's name this part as m this one portion as m just now we calculated the value of i as 120 degree so we can calculate the value of m using linear pair so using linear pair 
120 degree plus M will be equals to 180 degree. Now 120 degree is an addition so we will transfer it 180 minus 120 degree. 0 minus 0 gives us 0. 8 minus 2 gives us 6 so 60 degree. Value of M is 60 degree. Now this one portion I am making it clearly here. This is given in cross section like this. This is M here and this one portion, let's name it as N. This angle is N. This will be equals to 70 degree. Why? Using the property corresponding angles. So, angle C is equals to 70 degree. And bracket you will mention corresponding angles. Now, in triangle here, this is forming a triangle. This one. So, we are having an angle, let's name it as Y. So, using angle sum property, the sum of these three angles will be equal to 180 degree. M plus N plus Y is equal to 180 degree. Value of M is 60 degree, so 60. In place of N, we are having 70 degree, so plus 70 plus y is equals to 180 degree. Now we will add them. 60 plus 70. 0 plus 0 0. 6 plus 7 13. So 130 plus y is equals to 180 degree. Now this 130 is in addition. So we will transfer it and it will go in subtraction. So y is equals to 180 minus 130. So, we will subtract it 0 minus 0, 0, 8 minus 3, 5. So, value of y is 50 degree. Now, our question is asking us to calculate value of x. So, x is here and x will also be equals to y. The reason is vertically opposite angles. So, vertically opposite angles are also equal. So, the value of x is 50 degree. I hope this question is clear. If you are finding difficulty in this question, solve it with me. Definitely it will be clear to you. Now